Well, hey folks, welcome to Captain Dave's Sport Fishing YouTube channel one more time. Not in the wolf den today. If you're new to the channel, sometimes I do some tabletop type videos in my office room that I refer to as the wolf den. But now, I'm on the Jetty Wolf in its boat port. And the reason being is this is the day after landfall of Hurricane Michael that hit the Panhandle. I'm over in Jacksonville, Florida, over on the east coast of northeast Florida. We really weren't affected very much at all. I mean, we had some winds, not high winds by any means, you know, just enough to pull some twigs out of the trees. So, uh... You know, that was good for us because we get plenty of uh, hurricanes and stuff over on our side. But what I'm going to do, if you're a regular subscriber, I'm kind of going to go over some stuff for the sheer fact that it's been at least two weeks since my last video. Uh, if you remember, if you're a subscriber and you're a usual visitor, you saw... The last video, most likely, that I just did of my bamboo in my backyard. Because I love it. I love it. It's a perfect screen. Bamboo has a following. That was the last video I did. To make a long story short, that was the day after I had a prostate biopsy. Now, we're all guys here, right? So, we can talk this stuff. <laughs> um... It was my second prostate biopsy, and I'm on high alert because I have prostate cancer in my family. So, I went in for it after a high PSA test. You guys that are definitely 50 and above, you'll understand what I'm talking about. That last video was the day after a prostate biopsy. I was feeling good. Not a great thing. You can look it up if you don't know how they do it. It's not one of these super pleasant things that you have to go through, but it's enough to save your life if you are, you know, if you got cancer in the prostate, which 99.9% .9 of all men end up having by the time you die. Some people just get it earlier. My cousin is younger than me and he had it. He had his entire prostate just removed. That video about the bamboo, that evening... I started feeling really, really, really bad. Uh, I'd say 12 hours after that video, I already had a fever, chills, then it would go to hot, chills, hot, and then I did that video on a Friday afternoon. I think I mentioned it was about 4 o'clock, it was kind of cooling off, and by Friday, uh, by Friday night, I already had the effects of what turned out to be a massive infection. I'm not the Lone Ranger. I had a friend stop by my house to tell me he's had infections twice after prostate biopsies. I mean, I was just plain ill. Turns out that when I was in the emergency room, they ended up saying that I had a kidney infection. Had to reimburse... Uh, deposit or two so I'm going backwards while the bills come rolling in I want to go fishing cause it takes my stress away I want to go fishing try and cast my blues away I want to go fishing I don't want to watch the clock I want to go fishing We're going to start by just going over it very, very quickly. If you're interested in my boat, the Jetty Wolf, I've got a complete playlist showing some of the features. I know I'll sometimes get, I'm on one topic and I get total off topic, you know, questions about the boat. Either way, this is the, basically the leaning post right here. 
and then underneath the leaning post there's lots of storage underneath here and as you can see that's where my oxygen bottles are but let's start from the front all right i got this 120 icy tech it's very surprising that people have I till still today people don't have never heard of an icy tech and I don't understand why because uh, icy tech pretty much from what I gather is almost one of the beginning companies that started the roto molded coolers no Yeti did not invent anything all they did was make it higher priced I put this in here and yes land does suck all right, so you pull that up, and there it goes. This cooler is 120 quart. Over here is a divider, and this is where I keep my shrimp. It is right in here. And it's got its own drain down there in the corner. I'm trying to hold everything here, and this is a real pain. But um, as you can see, I got a tube coming in. And over here I got a tube coming in also this is really worked out when your water goes in here especially if I got shrimp over here I keep this full of ice and this is a fish box or just a bait box and uh, my shrimp stay very cool over here supposedly the uh, oxygen is about 50 55 degrees so um, it's that's also cooling the water then I have one over here and this is the this is the evolution now the evolution is I finally got one for over here of the same brand I'll put the brand of these this is called a uh, let's see what's it called point four is what it says right there this is the best uh, ceramic diffuser that I've used I've used another brand I'm not gonna mention it because I don't even want you to pay attention to it and the ceramic part kept becoming loose and the bubbles are blowing around it versus coming through it so I drilled a hole here I have another spare hole here with a cork in it and I got a hole right here so that's how the oxygen comes in over here many times it's croakers and right now mullet and croakers alright so um, this is big enough to keep dozens of mullet over here and over here I've had as much as uh, 10 dozen live shrimp and I just fill the water accordingly you know to give them plenty of swimming around happy room so then all we do is we just hit this and the door comes down under here now behind the leaning post you can see what I've got here I've got turnbuckles holding it just in place because I just don't want people moving it around with their bodies I got turnbuckles just galvanized turnbuckles we do that stuff on a work boat like this this boat is for one thing working this isn't for oh geez I've got a, a rust stain or oh geez I got a this now nah, this isn't one of these look at me now boats there's my first oxygen bottle going to my shrimp well that's a bottle that would be used for oxygen and acetylene purposes I bought the bottles and then all I do is swap them out at the local uh, air conditioning supply house and right now I've got my cast net bucket right there that I bought that has a nice lid on it that's where I keep my cast net then that bottle right there is leading into the well with the uh, hose and there's a regulator on it I get the regulators from keepalive.net this he sells plenty of uh, nice regulators or even this one right here I got off Amazon they're about a hundred bucks 
and underneath that black ring on the bottom is where your dial is and believe me it's only two it's got like 10 15 clicks on it and that little black ring at the very bottom right there you can turn it you can see possibly there's a window right there that tells you what setting you're putting it on I run basically two settings up from off and it's all the oxygen I would ever need you can see all I do is I put big black zip strips on it and it sits under there. Nobody pays attention to it. Nobody even knows it's there. Nobody bumps into them. Nothing. And I just uh, pull this bucket out. It's got my cast net in it. When the entire mullet season is over, I'll pull this out and I sit a small uh, milk crate in there just to throw some miscellaneous tackle, fish rags, a jacket, whatever. Everything's sitting on a rubber mat just to keep things from sliding around and from, uh, you know, from the bottle getting rusty or something and staining. You can see I mark it right here with a grease pencil, 925, that's when that bottle was brand new. And there's the back of the cooler with the air hoses going into it. The rubber mat is also a stopper because the skids that the cooler sit on run this way. They run across so I can push this up and this rubber mat is an old uh, as a truck bed mat and it runs into that and it literally holds it in place. And then this keeps it from being pushed forward or anything like that. So, I mean, you got to come up with stuff, folks. In my business, I want the best for my customers, and I want super live bait. And the cooler sitting here, and this is seats, everything. Right behind the console, and uh, got everything opened up and kind of airing out right now. And then, you know, I'm a real icy tech cooler fan because you get so much for what you pay for. And then, of course, up here on the bow, I slide it on back, of course. I got a cool, I got a video all about this. That's a 200 quart. So, uh, that holds all everybody's groceries that they show up with. There you go. See, I reach right under there and grab my uh, five gallon cast net bucket and uh, we're good to go so uh, so that's that I just wanted to share that with you because I don't know you know nobody tells me nothing I don't know anything I don't know what anybody's doing nobody emails me I don't you know I don't get a whole bunch of uh reports for it from anybody or anything like that so I don't know what people are ha uh, people are having problems with their bait or anything that's my system I was dying to show everybody and it's really working out if you have any questions of course put them down in the comments and I'll answer any questions about uh, doing an O2 system complete on your boat from everything from croakers to mullet to shrimp you know I have a joke when my bait comes out it's so jumpy and so sprightly and so lively that I always say they're sitting down there drinking Heineken's at the Miami oxygen bar that used to be a big thing years ago where you paid to go in and put on oxygen and sit there and have yourself a daiquiri or something in a bar there you go I'd appreciate everybody checking out my Facebook um if you're interested, jigging rods, ugly sticks, hunting knife. I got a hunting knife that is so absolute kick butt for 30 bucks. I'm selling it for exactly what I bought it for. It's getting to be that season. I mean, a beautiful buck hunting knife that is so wicked sharp. Man, it's all many things that I had on my video garage sale that nobody ever watched because it was a long video just like this one. We've got some charters coming up here very shortly. And I'm really, really 
glad to be feeling better. Well, that's the only good news I've had is I don't have prostate cancer. Other than that, I've been losing money and bills will start coming rolling in. I don't know, but I, I've survived for 22 years doing this. I guess I keep on plugging. If there's a will, there's a way. I always seem to make it. I feel bad for everybody over at the Panhandle. And, uh, of course, this week is a total loss for charters. Just starting to get nice now, and I think today is Thursday. The day after the hurricane. And it's the only reason I did this video today is because I tried doing it yesterday. It was a total failure. It was so dark, even with spotlights under here and everything. Because it was blowing, windy, and raining on and off. So, all right, I'm rambling on enough. All I can say is thanks for watching. Please visit the links. Check out the other videos that I'm going to be posting. And the reason I'm doing this is I like to always have a video about something each week. And I really like to keep it boat and fishing related. And this is actually the first chance that I've gotten that I can actually, I actually feel good enough. People don't realize what goes into every single one of these videos, but it's just endless, endless hours. All right, thanks for watching. And next time, I hope to be on the boat doing something for you there. Mm -hmm.